With how busy the world is these days, I frequently find myself getting caught up in being stressed out because there's so many different things going on at once. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the ways that I've found myself to live more in the moment and to have a better time of decompressing. I grew up as an only child, and as an only child, you're very reliant on the people around you to influence the way that you feel. And it wasn't until I got older that I realized that having good people around you that empower you really changed your outlook on life. Now the people that you should really hang out with are the people that energize you and that make you feel good and great for who you are, who care about you. The people that give without asking for anything in return. These are the people that you want in your life. I used to surround myself with people who I thought cared about me, who were manipulative or who were expecting me to act a certain way or who just had very unrealistic expectations of who I am. And it just comes with the surrounding crowd that I associate myself with. When I was in college, I joined one of the most popular fraternity on the campus. And being in a fraternity like that, you had to dress a certain way, you had to talk a certain way, or you would risk looking like an outlier or be an outcast and that's not something that you want it's an uncomfortable feeling now I'm not saying this was a bad experience I did meet some of my best friends from the fraternity but when it's a group of 70 plus guys sometimes you might not mesh with everybody in there and so I decided that I much rather spend time with friends who are ego free who are self-loving who don't have a chip on their shoulder and want to prove something because they're just easygoing and accepting of many of the things around them, accepting of life, and are very much in line with how I think as well. Think of friends you had long late night conversations with and what you guys talked about and how after those conversations you feel so empowered. Those are the friends that you want in your life. And they don't only have to be late night conversations when you're both drunk. It could be all day. And when you hang out with good, good people like that, you feel empowered throughout your whole day and you feel personally empowered as well without having to have any second doubts about who you are and why you're doing certain things. Being in water is also something else that takes me into a whole other world because you're literally in a different world. The combination of shock and new environment makes you really just feel like you're somewhere else. And for me, being in the water is just this huge connection because I'm able to do what I can't do on land. I'm able to swim. I'm able to like move in a 3D direction. And I personally, I like to surf. I like to snorkel. But essentially, it's whatever is in your environment, whether it's a forest, a desert, or a mountain. There's many different types of environments that you yourself can find wherever it is in your area. And it depends on what you mesh with the best as well because I personally am a water person but you personally might go like going hiking or you might like camping or rock climbing. There's many different things that people vibe with and I remember a friend of mine told me one time, he asked whether I was an ocean person, a forest person, a desert person, or a mountain person. And at the time, I didn't really know. I didn't start surfing at the time yet. And it wasn't until a few months later that I left that job there that he was working at. So we were co-workers. And once I left that job, I moved to San Diego for a month just to vacation and relax. I subleased the place. And then when I was in San Diego, I started surfing. And I loved it. I loved the challenge of it. I loved being in the ocean. I loved how it felt with the water touching your skin. And I started surfing every day, more and more and more every day for that entire month. I might have skipped a few days here and there, but I started surfing from that moment and I just completely fell in love with it. And years later, I'm still surfing and the ocean is something I feel completely myself and feel completely okay and comfortable to be in. Skating is something that is very near and dear to me as well because I started when I was in fourth grade and I wasn't some crazy skater that does a ton of tricks and stuff. But for me, mainly the feel of skating, of traveling fast, of being able to be so fast that you're faster than you're walking, but slower than when you're on a bike. So that when you're riding in that type of way, you 
get to appreciate the sights around you. You're not just zooming by, you're slowly moving at a high speed where you can take everything in and process the environment that is around you. I take a skateboard practically everywhere that I go. There's one in my trunk, there's one that I brought with me to Spain and back to the USA and I really only got that board for 15 euros, around $20. And it's not the best board in the world, but it helps me get places. And in my mind, as long as it's faster than me walking, I think it's a good board. It also helps me with my morning routines because I typically like to skate every morning to the beach. And the beach is a few blocks away, so it does take like a 10 to 15 minute walk to get to. But when I have this board, I'm able to make the trip in 5 minutes or less sometimes. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Now these are some of the ways that I've found to help me get out of my head and in the moment. I hope you find some solace as well or get some inspiration on what to do or how you can find your own peace in yourself. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe and follow along. I will have more of this in the future. Thanks again.